<laughs> Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vegan.net and welcome to my May vlog. It has been a couple of months since I've done one of these, so I'll just do a little bit of a catch up as well. Hope you've been really well, and um, whatever you've been doing, I hope you've been having fun. I have been doing a lot of different things in the past couple of months and I just thought I'd go through a few of these. Um, I hope you've seen a lot of the new videos that um, my good friend Cam and I have been filming. If you have not, make sure you check them out and make sure you have a look at his YouTube channel as well, Cam on Fruit. We've been filming um, a lot of videos and a heap more just recently, so I hope you've liked them. Had a lot of new clients, so I've been doing a lot of training for them in regards to social media and marketing and I've also been doing a lot of filming for them as well. The AFL season Australian Football League is well and truly underway so I've been following that even though my team the Brisbane Lions have not been playing that well. I've been doing a lot of interviews and a lot of podcasts and look forward to get back into the CJ and LC podcasts um, in June. I have been um, seeing a lot of bands, including um, a favourite rapper of mine from Adelaide called Takei Mazza, and um, I saw her once by herself at um, the Woolly Mammoth, and then I saw her supporting Charlie XCX, who's from the UK, now living in the US, at the Met, and they were really, really cool nights, a lot of dancing, a lot of rapping and singing. And um, I've been house sitting a lot and I'm just about to start a new one. I've been catching up with a lot of people, a lot of friends, meeting new people and um, I've had a great time meeting some of the athletes that I've been interviewing for my athlete series that now all over 130 of those vegan athletes, fitness fanatics and exercise enthusiasts are now online. And of course, which means that I'm still in the middle of the editing process and I'll keep you updated with that across all our social media channels. Also got to see the wonderful Courtney Barnett who's an Australian um, singer-songwriter who's doing really well overseas at the moment. I saw her at the Hi-Fi and there was a lot of dancing after that as well with some vegan friends. Probably the highlight of May or one of the highlights was um, two of my friends Ange and Pete got married and they had a vegan wedding at a place called Urban in the city. Um, I used to do AV technician work there actually which which was pretty bizarre. It was the first time that Urban had actually had a vegan event there and catered for vegan people, so that was really cool. And um, there was a lot of dancing after that as well, which I love and I've been enjoying. Keep an eye out for that um, blog that will go online soon, hopefully. Then I was down in Sydney at the end of, or last week I think that was, for the Sydney Vegan Expo. I had a stall there for one of my clients, Cruelty Free Super. And it was really cool, really great time there, even though I was only there for four days and it was a bit too cold for me. It was still a great time, good to see friends. Um, I just thought I'd let you know what I did in case you're interested. On the Thursday when I got there, I just walked around um, the CBD for a bit from the train station and um, went to Iku, which is one of my favourite places in Sydney on Oxford Street. They have a few other places as well. Then um, later that afternoon for an early dinner, I caught up with my good friend Katrina Fox. She runs a website called Vegan Business Media and I've written an article on there um, you should check out if you have not already and she's got some really great articles from other people and interviews so check that out. Then on the Friday it was pretty crappy weather so I just worked in my room most of the day and Greg McFarlane who's um, the Vegan Australia guy if you've heard of him and a good friend and we hung out, we went to the cruelty free shop that my good friend um, Jessica Bailey runs and then we caught up with Jess and her partner Stu, Andrew and Funky Pies, Greg and myself and Elizabeth Usher and her partner Rob for dinner at Nourishing Quarter which is my favourite vegan restaurant in all of Australia and um, it was really good to be there again. Then on Saturday I caught up with some friends at Bondi and went to a new-ish veg place called Dandelion and just walked around the headland and had a really good time and then we went to Funky Pies for afternoon tea which is always good. 
On Sunday was the big Sydney vegan event, so that was really cool. Had a store for cruelty free super, got to meet a lot of people. I was right next to Jess from the cruelty free shop, and on the other side was Katrina and her partner Tracy. So that was a really good day. And um, some photos online too, if you haven't seen them already, from the New South Wales Vegan Society, um, from Katrina's page, and uh, I think I've put a few on the Viva La Vegan page. So that was um, that was Sydney weekend and it was really good. Since I've been back, I've been organizing a lot of new videos and Cam and I did a whole day of filming on Wednesday. So we've got quite a few videos and food tutorials for you for um, quite a bit of time later. So he's just editing them at the moment and they'll go up soon. Probably the biggest excitement that I've been waiting to share with you is um, that I have a sponsorship with Blendtec Australia and um, have a new Blendtec blender and I'm a um, seller of Blendtec goods within Australia. So make sure you check out the link vivalavian.net forward slash Blendtec for more information and if you'd like to buy a blender within Australia. And I look forward to sharing some of my food tutorials using the Blendtec products. And um, you can see more information about that online and a lot of other things. And today I'm just off to an event um, in Logan, which is an area just outside of Brisbane where I am at the moment. And they're having a Logo Eco Action Festival. And it's just a good little environmental festival with the local community. So I'm looking forward to that. There'll be quite a few of my friends there and the Animal Liberation Queensland. We'll have a store there. So we'll have Vegetarian Vegan Society of Queensland, Wilderness Society, and a few other friends will be there. A few vegan options and quite a few storeholders that were at my Green Earth Festival, my Green Earth Day festivals that I put on a few years ago. Um, so I'm going to that today and a lot of my friends in the US are in Austin, Texas at the last Vita Vegan Con. Um, I attended the, the past two and I'm a bit upset that I can't be there for the third one especially because it's the last one but I hope everyone there is having a really great time and I look forward to seeing you all sometime soon. I hope you've had a really great month. I look forward to hearing what you've been up to and what you're about to embark on. And I look forward to seeing you next month. Make sure you check out vivalavegan.net for more information and see our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest, SoundCloud, etc. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.